So 2.4 deals with multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. So we already did adding and subtracting. Now it would make sense that we're doing multiplying and then we're going to do dividing. So let's just take a look at this question. There are 15 cars in Michael's toy car collection. Two thirds of the cars are red. How many red cars does Michael have? So one of the strategies that you have is drawing a picture. So again, you could always just draw a picture. So five, 10, 15 cars, two thirds of those. So that means that I'm breaking the cars. The thirds means that I'm breaking it in to three sections. So the three sections each have five cars in there. So if I have two thirds, this is one third, this is another third, so it's going to be 10. But it's not always going to be those nice easy numbers like that. So we want to again be able to put math symbols to it so we can um, show our work. So two thirds, I can write that as two thirds, I already wrote it here. So when you're trying to find two thirds of this word of is a special word because that means to multiply. So two thirds of 15, because that's how many total cars he had. So you're multiplying two thirds times 15. This is a whole number, so I have to put it over one, and then you multiply straight across. You could always um, cross out common factors, or you could just multiply straight across. So two times 15, is going to give me 30. 3 times 1 is going to give me 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. And we already figured it out here, um, but just showed you more mathematically. So go ahead and make sure you pause the screen so you're not stressing. Just wanted to emphasize again this word of means to multiply. So when you multiply fractions, this word product means to multiply. So it's equal to the product of your numerators over the products of your denominators. And hopefully the dust is coming off of that information that you had from fifth grade and um, this will be a doable section for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I have one third, what is one third of a half? So let's just think about this. If you have half of a pizza and you're going to break that into thirds, you're going to get really small sections. And usually when we think of multiplying, we think of something bigger, but with fractions, it actually is going to be less. So the way that this works is one third times one half. You multiply the numerators, one times one, three times two gives me one six. So I, one third is one six. That's an itty bitty slice. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do one third of five six. So again, it's gonna be a small piece. One third of means to multiply five six. So it's gonna be one times five, three times six. So it's gonna be five over 18. And there's nothing I can simplify here, so either here or either. So those are going to be my final answers. And I like to always kind of give you some information that I've collected over the years, uh, things to remember to help you out. So divide out common factors. Now, technically, you don't have to do that. It just would make your life a little bit easier, but sometimes if you want to just do the straight math and multiply your numerators and multiply the denominators, that's totally fine. It's just going to make your numbers a little bit bigger. When you multiply two numbers that are less than one, the product must be less than one. So like what we did with the pizza, both of our answers were less than one. So that's your clue. If you get something that's bigger than one, mm, you did something incorrect with the calculation. And then the third point is any number divided by one is equal to itself. So for example, 18, I can rewrite this as 18 over one. My favorite number is 11, and I can put that over one, that equals 11. Okay, so I can always change a whole number 
to a fraction because they are the same thing. We just don't put the one there because it's extra work. And then any mixed number can be written as an improper fraction. And that's what you're going to want to do, especially when you multiply and um, divide. Change those mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, so here we go. Again, 5 times 2 and 7 times 3. I don't see anything that I can divide out from the numerator or the denominator, so I'm going to go ahead and just multiply straight across. So 10 over 21. And then let's take a look at this one. This is going to be 7 times 6 over 16 times 7. Oh, look at the common factors. I have a 7 and a 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So that cancels out to 1. Technically, you're dividing out. And then you could divide it by a 2 here, but I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite this as 6 sixteenths. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide by 2 because they're both even. So this is going to be 3 eighths. And that's it. And here's one with a whole number. So I need to make it look like a fraction. I'm going to put it over 1, multiply my numerators, multiply my denominators. Now here, here is one where you could factor out. You could see, oh, a 3 can be divided into 18. So that's going to leave me with a 6. And that's going to be 2 times 6. And you're going to be left with 1. You're going to be 12. Or you could just go ahead and multiply straight across. 2 times 18 over 3 times 1. That's the same as 36 over 3. This is an improper fraction, so I can change it to a mixed number. A fraction is a division, so you don't have to make a decision. You take your numerator and divide by your denominator. You could do it old school, but I know it's going to be 12.